Hi hey everyone, Ken Mason from Whispering Souls. Um, so this is going to be a short video on, on uh, different types of healing, on a different type of healing. I'm not feeling too well tonight, so it's uh, uh, going to be kind of short one. Um, so as we mentioned before, we do have the two bodies. We have the spiritual body and we have the physical body. And we can use the spiritual body to, to heal our physical bodies. Now, <coughs> unless we focus this all the time, what we're, what we're healing is the small injuries or stuff that we can do, major stuff. It's pretty hard to do it because it's, it's a physical thing. Um, but there are people that can do it. There have been people have succeeded. Um, so here are the techniques that you know they've used to succeed. If you feel that this could help you, then please use it. And uh, I'm sure all of us can do it. It's just time and, and energy to do it. Um, so this one, I'm just going to use a technique that I use to uh, uh, direct energy at a specific spot. And this is basically a recce type, but a personal recce type of thing. Because there won't be any kind of uh, symbols or, or concentrations for it. Um, and, you know, this is mostly, a, 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 you have to image this stuff, but you can also use it by feelings. Um, so, you know, just kind of relax, take it easy, get ready. Um, so, it will be two of one. So, the first one I want you to do, take your hands, just put them like this. And you can, if you just do this, you can feel the sponge of your spiritual body being compressed. So what I want you to do again, like before, just kind of as if you're shaking, you know, cleaning your hand. You can just see all that energy kind of build up between. And then just do this. Just kind of close it and just do this. Again, you'll see the, feel the energy going up. Now I want you to take this energy and either imagine or feel it. And I just want you to take it and just swallow it. Just put in your, you know, just swallow it. And just feel it go down your throat. You know, it's, it's going to go down your throat. And it's going to go, which is basically your chakra. And it's going to go through your chakras. And your chakras will identify where the issue is. And then you're going to find it go to that issue. This is a little complicated one because a lot of it is feeling. You know, once you swallow it, all of it is a feeling effect. Um, but the same thing is when you do this and you have the ball in your hand, right? You have the ball in your hand, you've created this. You can move it to any part of your body. And you don't actually have to f physically move it. You, you create the body, you move your hand away, and the body's still there. So you can imagine you grabbing your spiritual hand and taking this, you know, pushing it right on the, the uh, sore spot. Um, or you can just, in your mind, you know, if, uh, if you can't visualize that, um, again, with the, the swallowing part, is just feel it go through the body and down into like a knee or something. Um, you'll find the energy really works. You'll, 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 your, your area that you're working on will get warm. Um, and if you keep doing this, you're going to find a sensation of where the healing is. One of the reasons why we do the, the uh, energy that goes up and down is to find out where the issues are. Um, but also, you know, as it goes up and down, it heals, and then it's going to find an issue. So if it's something like a knee, if you pr prefer to do the one that we f did in the first two episodes, then, you know, you can use that. Um, again, you can just have, you know, imagine a ball, white ball, go into the top of your head, which go right straight down your chakras, we'll, which will find the problem. And you, and you can identify it. But this one's just kind of, you know, you can do it with just watching TV. You know, just envision it and just envision it going down your throat. Or you can envision it just, you know, if you're good at envisioning, just imagine, you know, creating the ball in the middle air. Then just send it to where, the, uh, where that pain is or issues. Um, and the ball basically is a, you know, high intense version of energy. If you want it to work even better than that, use your favorite color, because your favorite color is your is your uh, is your power color. It's your healing power, a uh, power. It, it's the one one color that has the most energy in it. So if you're going to use this technique and you're going to use this ball of energy, 
and place it somewhere in your body. Make sure that that color or that energy is that color, and you'll find it work a lot better than just white color. White color, though it's strong, is a combination of all the colors. So what you're doing is you're using whatever colors in there that are strongest to to heal, but is not as strong because all the other ones have energy as well, and they'll suck the other energies apart. So it's only using a portion of the energy in that white. So use a uh, use your the color you like the most, and you'll find it probably works more. Um, again, this is this is practice. This is things that you know probably will take a while. It took me probably five years to get it to work properly throughout my whole body. Um, so it's just practice, just like anything else. Learning guitar, practice, and uh, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.